Hello everyone, welcome back. The topic for today is fibers of the periodontal ligament. Now this fibers of the periodontal ligament, it is very commonly asked in your exams as short answer question and also in the long answer questions. And even about this fibers, it is very commonly asked in the neat examination. So you should like remember all this fibers of periodontal ligament and the functions of each of them very well to score good marks. So in this video, we are going to see completely about the fibers of the periodontal ligament. So before seeing the fibers, we are just going to see what exactly your periodontal ligament is. So periodontal ligament, it is composed of the complex vascular and highly cellular connective tissue which surrounds the root. So periodontal ligament is nothing but a component which is surrounding the root and it is connecting to the inner wall of your alveolar bone. So over here now you can see this blank portion over here. So the portion or the tissue between your roots and the alveolar bone is nothing but over here this is the parental ligament now this parental ligament it contains various fibers so the various fibers can be the mature fibers immature fibers and the principal fibers now mature fiber you have one fiber in mature fiber that is the collagen fiber in immature you have three that is elastin reticulate and oxytalin in principle you have six like fibers which are the alveolar crest transeptal, horizontal, oblique, apical and interradicular. First one is elastin. Now in the periodontal ligament, you do not have the mature elastin. Instead, you have two forms of elastin that are your oxytalin. And the next form of the immature elastin fiber is the ilionin. So these are the two forms of the elastin fiber which is present in the periodontal ligament. So now as the name says elastin, so elastin, it gives the property of the elastic property to your periodontal ligament. Now the next immature fiber is the reticulin. So reticulin is the fiber which is a fine immature fiber, which is a collagen fiber, which is having the latest like appearance. So latest is when there is inter like lacing of some fibers. So they are present like this in the form of the latest. So this is about the reticulin. Now the next fiber is your oxytalin. So oxytalin again, it is an immature fiber. Oxytalin fibers, they are like formed in the complex manner at the apex of your tooth and they are in the axial direction. And the function of this fiber, it is basically not known properly what exactly it is. But now this oxytalin, it basically helps in supporting the blood vessels of the PDL. So this is about the immature fiber. Now the mature one is the collagen fiber. Now, the majority of the fibers in the periodontal ligament, they are collagen in nature and the collagen fibers, they are inelastic. So they do not have the elasticity. So the collagen fibers, they are inelastic and they are in the form of wavy. So they have this wavy appearance. So now you won't find this collagen fiber single, but you will find them in bundle. So this is about the collagen fiber that you will see this collagen fibers, which are aggregated in the bundle and they are known as the principal fiber group. So the most commonly type of the collagen fiber which is found in PDL is the type 1 collagen fiber, whereas the reticular fiber, they are made up of type 3 collagen fibers and type 4, it is seen in the basal lamina. So you just need to remember, so in the PDL, you have type 1 type of like collagen fiber and in the reticular area or like you can see in the reticular fiber, you have type 3 and in the basal lamina, you have type four of the collagen fiber. So that was about the collagen fiber, which is a mature type of fiber in your periodontal ligament. Now moving on towards the most important type of fiber, those are your principal fibers. Now as the name says, the principal, so they are like the main fibers of your periodontal ligament. So we are going to see each of the fiber in this three subheadings. That is what is the origin of the fiber? Then where is the insertion and the function? Like if you remember this fibers, in this three headings and if you write them like particularly like this only in the exam then you're going to score complete full marks and it becomes very easy also to learn in the form of a table so we're going to see each one of them like all the six fibers in this three headings so starting with the first one that is the alveolar crest periodontal ligament fiber so the origin for your alveolar crest fiber will be so over here now you can see these are your alveolar crest fibers the fibers which are present just above your alveolar crest is your alveolar crest fibers so the origin of this alveolar crest fiber it will be from the cervical part of your cementum now you know what exactly cementum is so the cervical part of your cementum will be the origin for your alveolar crest fibers so over here now you can see 
so the origin will be the cervical part of cementum and the insertion will be it is inserted into the alveolar process in the oblique direction so now over you can see they are not horizontal or straight instead they are in the oblique direction and they are inserted into the alveolar bone so from here it is starting from the cementum and it is getting inserted into the alveolar bone so this is about the origin and the insertion so the function of the alveolar crest fiber will be it will retain the tooth in the socket then the next function will be it will resist the lateral tooth movement so that if there are if there are any forces laterally so this fiber it will resist that forces and it will prevent your tooth from moving laterally so this is the next function that it will resist the lateral tooth movement the third will be it will protect the deeper periodontal ligament structure so these are the three functions of your alveolar crest fiber first is it retains the tooth in the socket properly like it prevents the movement of your tooth from the socket then it resists the lateral movement of the tooth and it protects the deeper periodontal ligament structures now the next fiber is the transeptal so transeptal it is extended interproximally over the alveolar bone crest now over here transeptal is nothing but the fiber which is connecting two adjacent teeth so now this fibers are nothing but your transeptal fiber so the origin will be so now as the name says transeptal so it is extending interproximally so the proximal area so this is like the proximal area of your premolar distal proximal area and this is a mesial proximal area so the fibers which are extending between this two teeth that is interproximally is your transeptal fiber so they extend interproximally over your alveolar bone crest so this is your alveolar bone crest so this fiber they are about this alveolar bone crest and the insertion will be so it is interproximally above your alveolar bone crest then the insertion will be it will be embedded into the cementum of the adjacent teeth so it is starting from here and it is getting like embedded into the cementum of the adjacent teeth so that will be your insertion for your transeptal now what are the functions of it so in this it is reconstructed even after the destruction of the alveolar bone in the periodontal disease so now if you have some periodontal disease so this fibers they have the function that they can be reconstructed after the like treatment has been done for your particular tooth after the periodontal like disease so this is the first function that it can be reconstructed and the next function is now this fiber is the main reason for the relapse in orthodontics so now we know in orthodontics we are doing the like particular if there is any malocclusion which is present and we are doing the changes so these changes they are basically due to the changes which are formed in the fibers so if there is case in the relapse so this particular fiber is responsible for retaining the teeth in their original state after the orthodontic treatment so this fibers they are the main reason for the relapse in orthodontics that they will go back if you are not using the retainers properly after the orthodontic treatment or by any chance if there is relapse so that relapse is basically because of this transeptal fibers only now the third fiber are your horizontal group fibers so now as the name says horizontal they are present horizontally like this so over here now you can see this fibers they are present horizontally over here then one more fiber is oblique so now we are going to discuss both of them like simultaneously so horizontal as the name says so this fibers they are present in the horizontal direction and oblique will be the ones which are present in the oblique direction now over here you can see so basically it's like your fiber it starts like this in the oblique direction then it turns into horizontal direction and again it goes in this oblique direction so this is basically how your fibers will be so now this is where your alveolar crest then there will be this horizontal and then it turns to be oblique again so this is about your like fiber so now over here we have seen this two fibers the third one is your horizontal now horizontal is again the origin is from the cementum and the insertion will be it runs in the horizontal direction and it crosses the pdl space which is inserted to the alveolar process as sharpie's fiber so this is the important point which is even commonly asked in your mcqs is the fiber which is inserted to the alveolar process as sharpie's fiber it will be your horizontal fiber of your periodontal ligament so basically it starts from your cementum so it is starting from the cementum and it goes towards your like alveolar process as sharpie's fiber so this is the insertion now what is the function so it will resist the tipping forces so it helps in the resistance of your tooth against the tipping forces 
so your horizontal fiber it is resisting that tipping forces and the next one is it prevents the lateral movement of the tooth so this is about the functions of your horizontal fibers the next one are your obliques so now the fibers which are in the oblique direction are your oblique fibers and one more point about this horizontal will be so this horizontal fibers they are like mostly limited to the coronal third of your pdl so you will find this horizontal fibers only at the coronal third so when your like fibers they are going towards the middle third of your pdl so it will turn into this oblique direction the next fiber is your oblique fiber so oblique fiber again the origin is cementum so as it is over here so it is in the cementum and in this it is like the largest group of the pdl fiber and it occupies the middle two third and it forms the main bulk so your oblique fiber it is forming the main bulk of your fibers in the periodontal ligament and it is inserted again into the alveolar bone in the oblique direction so this is about the oblique fibers that it is like originated from the cementum and it is inserted into the alveolar bone in the oblique direction now what are the functions of this oblique fibers now this oblique fiber it prevents or it resists the tooth from the vertical forces that will be your masticatory forces so if there are any masticatory forces so your oblique fiber it will resist that masticatory forces and it will keep your tooth in proper position so this is the first function the next function will be it will transform the vertical stress into tension on the alveolar bone so if there are forces so if there are vertical forces so this forces it will be acted on this alveolar bone by this oblique fibers so now the next fiber is your fifth fiber that is the apical fiber now as the name says apical fiber so this fibers they are present in the apical region now over here you can see so in the apical at the apex of the tooth so they are present apically so now in this what is like the origin so again it will be from the cementum now you can see over here so they are from the cementum at the root tip so this is the most important thing for your apical that they are present at the root tip so the origin is again from the cementum and then it is originated from the cementum and it is inserted to the fundus of the bony socket now what are the functions of this apical fibers so apical fibers it resists the tooth from the tipping forces then it also resists the forces of luxation so luxation is nothing but when your tooth it comes out of the socket so your apical so now over here if your tooth is having this apical so obviously if your tooth is going out of the socket so your fibers it will hold them properly and it will resist the tooth from luxating so this is the next function of your apical fibers one more function will be it protects the delicate blood vessels and nerves now the sixth fiber and the last principal fiber is your interradicular now as the name says interradicular is basically your this fibers they are present in a multi rooted teeth because they are present between the roots so this are your interradicular fibers which are present between the roots in a multi rooted teeth so now the origin of this interradicular fiber it will be from the cementum again it is from the cementum now you can see over here so they are in originated from the cementum but in the bifurcation area only so that is your interradicular so it is like originated from the cementum and it is inserted so it they passes through the pdl so your fibers they are passing through the pdl space and they are inserted to the bony crest of the interradicular septum so they are going again to this bony septum that is your alveolar bone so basically it's like more of your fibers they are originating from the cementum and they are going and getting inserted into the alveolar bone itself so the function of your interradicular will be it resists tooth tipping then it resists the torquing of the tooth and it resists the luxation of the tooth so these are the three functions of your interradicular that it will resist the tipping it will resist the torquing that is the movement of the root then it will resist the luxation of the tooth so these are like the functions of your interradicular fibers so over here now again so these are your alveolar crest fibers then this are your horizontal fibers over here then these are your oblique fibers these are your the fibers which are present between two teeth will be your transeptal fibers so the fibers which are present at the apex of the tooth will be your apical fibers and the fibers which are present between the roots will be your interradicular fibers now this is the cross section so over here now you can see so these are your alveolar crest fibers so the fibers which are like going about this alveolar crest or through this alveolar crest are your alveolar crest fibers over here the bundle of fibers which are present in the horizontal direction are your horizontal fibers and the fibers which are present in this oblique direction 
So these are your oblique fibers. So these are the various fibers of your periodontal ligament. So this was all about the fibers of the periodontal ligament. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like, comment, share and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.